The fruits of the Spirit, Wednesday's lesson, Galatians 5, 22 and 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. What's the last fruit of the Spirit here? Self-control. Self-control, which means what? What does it mean in light of certain religious experiences that claim when the Spirit of God is present, people lose self-control and flop around on the floor like a fish? <laughs> I would suggest this is a evidence that there, there's a false spirits in the world. Because when the Spirit of God comes, there's self-governance. Self-control is restored, not out of control. And there's peace. And there's peace. What does it mean for those who pray, Lord, I've messed up so much. I'm tired of being in control. Lord, I surrender to you. You take control. You ever heard people pray like this? What does it mean? If the last fruit of the Spirit is self-control, what does it mean for those who are begging God to take control? Will God ever take control of your choices? Why not? Then you'd be a robot. You'd be a robot. You'd be a puppet. Can robots and puppets love? No. God is love. He will not take your power of choice. So those types of prayers need to be modified. Lord, give me wisdom, as you promised. You promise in your word. Give me wisdom to know the right. Help me understand your designs, your laws, your purposes, your methods, your goals. Help me understand where you're leading. Lord, I choose. Not my will be done, but thy will be done. Show me what your will is in this, and I'll choose it. But if you pray those kind of prayers, you're going to have your mind opened. If your heart is interested in really doing that, your mind will be open. You will see clarity. You can also say, Lord, I'm not sure what the best outcome in this circumstance is. From my perspective, it looks like I I ought to take this job over here. Um, But maybe that's not where you have me. And I haven't had a clear word from you not to take it. So, Lord, if it's not your will, I go there. Then shut that down. Let that opportunity go away. The Lord answers prayers like that, too. I've had prayers like that answered in my life. And I can look back on how my career path has gone certain ways. And I can see clear places where I prayed like that. And the Lord shut down certain avenues that were apparently open but then they shut and I went a different way and it was much better.